Oof. Dude, that's just so cringy. What's up, YouTube? So I've already jump cut everything, loading the bike, bringing it over to Bailey's house. I got the pit bike out here today. Um, it is the next day or the couple days after when I was riding this puppy on the ice with Mark and uh, Mike with his uh, Raptor 250. So um, I want to show you guys how it does. I don't think I actually uh, made a video with the studs in riding it in the actual snow. But uh, unfortunately, when I was looking at the studs this morning when uh, I was loading the bike up in the truck, as you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, but most of them, because of riding it on somewhat on the road and on the ice, it kind of shaved off the uh, the screw here. And first of all, I don't really care, but I'm just it's going to be a huge pain to take them off now because I you can't put in a socket on there to actually take it off. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I might have to just uh, put a new tire on there or I don't really know maybe do everyone by hand I really don't want to have to do that but post some comments down below what you saw uh, what you recommend on how I can get these off if they're totally worn down like that you you can't really get a socket on there so let me know and uh, yeah I'm gonna do some ripping around I got a little track going and uh, yeah it's pretty fun actually it's 45 degrees today so it's warming up a bit and uh, we keep getting these like warm spurts and then it gets cold again and we get a couple more storms but typical New York for you and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna rip around, have some fun today. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty muddy right here, using kind of that berm right there. But I'll set the camera up on the tripod. I don't have anybody here to film me today. So it's just me riding around with the tripods. But if you guys are new and this is the first video you're watching, this is my uh, 2003 DRZ110 with KLX110 plastics on there. Yeah, don't even, don't comment on it. I know the KLX looks a lot better than the DRZ, so that's the way it is. But if you guys are new, definitely hit the subscribe button down below so you can see all the future uploads on the pit bike over here. If you can even see it on the pit bike over here. On uh, big bikes, once the, uh, once the weather gets warm and we can actually ride. The KX125 build is coming very soon. I'm getting everything set up. Like I have always been saying for the past, I feel like two months, I'm getting the parts in. Build coming very shortly, so if you want to see the build on the KX125, hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up for uh, pit bikes today, and uh, we'll get into riding. <laughs> getting a good rut going to be honest it kind of sucks you right in because it's so muddy but it turned out pretty good all right so i got the bike propped up over here i was looking at this creek and i know in the summertime it's not very deep but of course it's, everything's melting right now i want to see if i can uh come in hot from here come straight through and kind of like just skim over the thing it definitely looks uh it's about a two bike lengths i'd say as far as distance but um, I walked in there and I sunk like almost to like the middle of my boot and it's all like silty like really muddy muck so uh I don't know I think it'd be kind of funny and uh I might just kind of go through it I might I don't want to try to go the long ways through because I will for sure 100% get stuck well I'm having issues with the pit bike right now it's currently just like sputtering on idle and then when I go to rev it it um let me take my goggles off it doesn't uh it just bogs out and stalls I didn't I shut it off before, it was running perfectly fine, and then now when I go to give it throttle, it just bogs out, as you guys can hear. But it'll idle fine. I don't know, I think jets are clogged. I honestly couldn't tell you, so I'm going to try to figure it out, and then, I don't know. the damn problem is.
Of course, the bike starts running fine again. I, I couldn't tell you from. Well, now that the bike's actually running now, I'm gonna try to send it through this stuff and kind of like wheelie over it or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens when it actually comes down to it. This is like you cracked it. <laughs> my boot got stuck in my kickstart. Look at how milky that is. Where? Alright, ride right back. I, I can't really go down, I guess I could go down that way. I'm done. I'm tired. Shout out to Ryan for filming. Uh, if you want to follow him on Instagram, it's on the screen right here for uh, being the filmer today. But um, yeah, I thought that was a lot deeper than what it actually was. It was actually pretty lame to be honest. But uh, what are you gonna do? You gotta try. And now the bike's all muddy, so pretty pumped. Hey, you're lucky it's warm today. It is actually pretty warm. If it was cold, I definitely wouldn't do that. Dude, that's just so cringy. It really is. It really is cringy. It's happened three times in the past what, two minutes. Because it just locks it up. I know. It can't be good for oh, it. Not even close. <laughs> not even relatively close. Look at this chain tension. <laughs> Dude, I know. I got to take links out. I just haven't had access to anything. And it's been really cold. Oh, my God. I'm going to snag that C-clip, though. All right. Let's go. Uh, Snowed on my some of my back. That's my cool.
like grips and then it doesn't grip. It grips and then it doesn't grip and then it grips and then you kind of just flow with it. I don't really know how to explain it That's with uh, my makeshift studs. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> oh, the chain fell off. What do you know? That's why. Shocker. That's Shocker. I jumped off the side. here for probably like three or four hours and I'm gonna head back to the truck load up head out put the camera away and then I'll update you guys when I get back to my house or when I'm loading up the bike or something like all right pit bikes loaded no <laughs> straps today boys don't even feel like strapping it just pop turn the gas off lay her down Ryan uh, lifted his truck even more now so uh, it's even harder to load the bikes number one reason why I don't want to lift my truck is for loading purposes but um other than to put a level kit on it but other than that that's it Jeez! It's so high. It's, li it it's literally stri <laughs> How did you load it at your house? That's what I'm saying. Is what that from the pit bike? No. There's a hole. It's from the uh, my snowmobile, the studs. Oh, it ripped it. Yeah. That's why. I, yeah. See, when I came down, I went here. right here. And it grab the swing the arm. Back end All right, now you can push the rest up. And it's going even higher. Even high. What's this? A six inch. I'm going six more inches in the front and two more in the back because I already did a four inch in the back. I know. But you're still on an on F-150. It's I'm too trying. tall. I'm I think right now it's too tall. Just lay her over. 